Hello and welcome to another Introdu Microsoft Excel tutorial. This is Professor Saad Yusuf and in this tutorial we will going to get to know a little bit about Microsoft Excel environment. First of all, Excel document is called a workbook. When you save this Excel document, it is saved as a under the extension of XLS if you are saving it in the older versions and if you're saving it in the newer versions it will be saved as under the file extension of .xlx XLSX that's the newer one now Excel workbook comprises of several sheets by default in the newer versions you only get one sheet at the bottom and you can see the sheet name is sheet one in the older ones you used to get three sheets by default so you can always change that it's up to you later on in the tutorials I'm going to show you where you can go and change that when the workbook opens up how many worksheets it should open up by default but here this one opens up with a single sheet now this is the name of the sheet the sheet comprises of columns and comprises of rows rows are numbered columns are lettered and right at the top is your ribbon exactly the same way I explained to you in Microsoft Word and explained to you in Microsoft PowerPoint and here we have tabs this is part of your ribbon environment all the tabs are further categorized into groups so home tab is a clipboard font alignment number style cells editing group every tab you go under you will notice that it is further divided into groups now there are certain groups that have far more items to offer to you than what it shows you right here on the screen so for that purpose it has this little launcher for some of the launchers there are keyboard shortcuts so as you can see for font settings the keyboard shortcut is control shift f some of these keyboard shortcuts are not the same across the board so what you may see in word you may not see in excel so you need to test this tech uh, you need to check to see whichever tool you're using use the shortcuts within the tool here we have a little bit different thing this location right over here is basically called the cell locator so here you can get to see whichever of the box you are currently in and each of the box that you see over here the rectangular box it is called cell so whichever box I'm currently in so if I click here it'll going to show me the cell location okay cell locations are measured as column first and row next that's how they're named so column first row next so if I'm here that will be H8 the good thing about Excel it highlights it in a different colors for you to see which column and which row you are in so column first row next that's a meeting point that's a location of the active cell so that's the active cell location right in front of that is a big formula bar this is where you can get to type your formulas later on in this course you will going to see as I type my formulas I could use my formula bar I could type it right within my cell multiple ways of doing things so that's basically what's different this area is your sheet area I already explained to you you can scroll here keep scrolling you can scroll down it has more rows that is currently in your vision so it goes in like thousands of rows and several thousand columns it's a great tool to store your data manipulate your data and run your analytics so the main idea of using Microsoft Excel is so that you can work with your numbers and do your analysis and some of the other things and down below is your zoom in zoom out and different modes I'm gonna explain other features of this in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel catch you in the next one take care and have a great day